You must be this tall to ride the squawk box. them off the floors of sawmills. Yeah, and we're surprised even. Okay, well look, this brand brick has a toy in it. That's a protractor. Well, in any case, it's good for you. Look, no artificial thing. 100% pure whole wheat around a crunchy wheat center. Mm. I'd rather eat the book. What's wrong with cake grenades? How about those gummy bugs? They have a vitamin. No, we're not eating any spacecraft or insects today. Mom, the other stuff is just brown circles and squares. It turns the milk all gray. Only healthier to eat them. Hmm, <laughs> protractor. Case in point. Well, I'm sorry, but it's either flax wafers or toasty cheese. Your choice. You call that a choice? Mm -hmm. Guess this leaves us no option. Strike! Mom, no fail! Mom, no fail! Mom, no fail! Hi, Millie. Mom, no fail! Mom, no fail! Right down the pipe. No condes, no vera. Come on, pitch it in there. Woo, come on, come on, go see. Until you're ready to say you're sorry. I am not sorry. I am the point of genius. A 47 pounds an avenue. I'll never be sorry. Oh. Oh. Go ahead. Scrub away. Steal my marker. You'll never take away the poetry in here. Emma, did you use indelible ink on this wall? I use indelible ink because I'm indelible. You can wash me, but I'll never complete. I'll never be sorry. Oh. You'll be sorry when pilgrims line up to see my wall of poetry and you have to turn them and their tourist dollars away. Are you sorry yet? Oh, my God. Did you write on all the towels? I'm not sorry, but I am quite busy now. Oh! I've been here for five whole minutes! Start a letter writing campaign. In my behalf, I'm being held because my ideas are too dangerous! Ooh, breakfast. Cool. You can sort of 
see through it. In fact, it's beautiful. Why, there's poetry all around me. So go ahead. Do your worst. My best poetry is born of pain. Here I sit in chamber poopy, mashing fur plots till they really goop. Emma, your father and I are going to the sugar shack to eat an obscene number of donut holes. I'm leaving a plate of arugula and fish paste outside your door. Dear Mama, the yard so wise, it was tiny feet and shapely thighs. I feel it's my duty to apologize for all my insincere poetic thoughts. Okay, Emma, but you can explain the sonnet scratched into your father's dashboard. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I guess she'll die There was an old lady who went into the basement during a horror movie Don't know why she went into the basement during a horror movie I guess she'll die Thank you very much, ma'am Gone all slimy, skin's turned toe Hair's been crawling cause I won't use soap Eyes crust over, smell like dung White filmy coating on my tongue Toes are pussing, strange new mold How many ecosystems do I hold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Let's breeze over to Tunaville and get the latest word on what's going on Well, it's an exciting day here in Tunaville Now I want my picture taken Get out of my house! Don't follow me! Mother knew she had temporary irregularity, so she gave her gentle Fletcher's Castoria. The smile is back. Okay, Mom, how does this sound? For every spoonful of gluten planks that we choke down, we get three boxes of syrup slabs, seven hundred dollars, and a pony. You call those terms? I'm still getting yeah. one. I control the budget. Look, Mom, we're not going to get anywhere until you admit that you're autocratic. Your top-down management style is obsolete. I can't afford crispy smears and still hit my Brussels sprouts quotas. Sugar consumption is a right, not a privilege. Our demands must be met. I think I hear television privileges mm. revoking themselves as we speak. Look, Mom, allowance cutbacks and the new health pick are making things harder at breakfast than they ever were. This is getting us nowhere! You two have forced me into a corner and I want an immediate settlement or else... Right, weave, Mom! Yeah, I'm right! <laughs> Wow! Me! You're the 
that kid who sings those root beer soaked songs, aren't you? I wouldn't expect to see you trying out for a school play. Well, basically, I need the exposure. I gotta make some bread. Everybody has a price, and I'm having a fire sale. You see? All these glasses, empty glasses. My songs like straws all hollow now. And worse than that, they're warm and flat. And more than I can swallow now. So I raise it to, to the homeroom flow. He's heard all I've sung and seen. Won't someone please inform my hope? I've gone to trade these blues for green. I'm glad we trade these blues for green. My pockets need a change of scene. I trade these blues for green. Cool. I'm uh, trying to get my song right. It's about flowers. Flowers. Red things, right? Lying in the dirt? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, boy, flowers. I love flowers. Please. Yeah, yeah, flowers. Right, right, all right. Try this in D. Droop that well, did hear the petals drop? In a rat too cast out the flower shop. When it rains, you can smell them three hours away. No, nobody's getting any flowers today. Hmm, points. Long stem rose is just a stick in the smoke. Anniversaries over and St. Valentine's broke. This is a long black box on the sky that's great. No, nobody's getting any flowers today. Sounds like a Ming boss in a gravel pit. Oh man, that was so. I used to love flowers. I'll never play again, as long as I live. Live a nice life. <laughs> Easy room. Just one of you, eh? What is it that you do? Ah, please introduce me. Should we shake or just hold still? I can't contain a brick refrain. No thanks, sugar makes me ill. I'm a headline, I'm a gold mine if the motor dies, I roll. They don't want me in the classroom, won't you put me in your show? No more chalk or talk or lockers, cause it's time for me to go. If I steal it, you can have it back. Watch the lights, watch me blow. Just put me in the show. Kid! Kid, where, where did you come from? You're a heart attack, you're a genius, you're a natural. You're non-union, right? Good. Listen, kid, I am going to make you a star. Do you understand me? The show is going to be a solo vehicle. I will rewrite it just for you. What do you think of that, huh? Uh, wow, I guess. I am giving you complete control. Almost. <laughs> the show is yours. Almost. Just sign this extremely binding contract, okay? Yes, kid. Now, there's a few simple little changes that I'd like to make. Nothing big. We'll talk about this later. Right now, you just think star. Well, it's all been nice to be here. I'm so glad the lights are bright. I almost didn't come because it's spooky out tonight. 
I brought my little dead and my fuzzy slippers dear. And I won't shake while I enunciate this friendly song for you. Violets of blue, think about In today's episode, Mom goes to the office while Dad stays home to do the chores. Mayhem ensues. So? Reproduced asexually all day. You? Same. Oh. Hmm. There was an old lady who pulled really hard on a biker's nipple ring. I don't know why she pulled real hard on a biker's nipple ring. I guess she'll die. Jumping into the calories in the season's first and only Spaghetti Derby. No hands, no silverware. Capricorn, you have not changed your socks in a week. Please do so. Beans and welcome to the show. You know, a day without abduction is like a day without quanta. And there just ain't always relative time to do it all. That's right, Cap. The results are in, and today we are going to announce the winners of our great big galaxy-wide capturing contest. You know, we had literally thousands of transmissions to wade through, trophy after trophy to judge, but we finally came up with a winner. Now, our first runner-up is Clut, with this remarkable specimen from the bowels of the planet Antides. This whopper weighs in at an astonishing 400 to the power of 10 cubic tons, close to the local record. Clut used a vibrating EM jig and two-pound test. The thing fought him for over 363 solar years. Way to go, Clut! <laughs> Also, special kudos to Tran Clagger of the Van Allen Radiation Belt for the only known capture of a... whatever. <laughs> Seems he just held a bag out and the thing just sort of squeezed in there. Great capturing sports bin. You said it, Cap. All of the prizes for the great big galaxy-wide capturing contest are provided by our good friends at Nova. Creators of unified field gear. Hard time dressing for a changing universe? Stay contained. This revolutionary lightwear expands neatly into anyone's busy continuum, but still fits on the head of a pin. Unified field gear. One size fits everything. Well, Cap, it's that time. <laughs> We're gonna announce the winner. Holy smoly, it's us again, Cap. <laughs> what would you expect? It's our show, and sports beings, we got the catch of our lives right here. It's a hoax. I tell you, this is a hoax. You know how hard it is to bag one of these astronomers, eh? It was genius. Just lifted the old roof off the observatory while he was looking in the other quadrant. It's a hoax. I tell you, this is a hoax. He's undersized, sure, 
But remember, he's from Mountain, not Munchin. It's our hoax. This is definitely... Whoa, Cap. Looks like the glory went to his head, eh? <laughs> oh, we're off to spend a little leisure time, and our prize went into an Alpha Centuri. I hear they got a slime dweller there with over 15 heads. That's right, Cap. Great with a little lemon. <laughs> Settle next time for the Cap and me. Keep it hanging. It's challenging in a way, but I still don't see how you can call it a sport. Right down the pipe, no condes, no rare. Come on, pitch it in there. Woo, come on, come on, go see. They're crunchy as ice cream cones. Uh-huh! And Trigger Jack's a real fool! Update on the crisis in Serial Row. Impasse. The standoff here continues at this hour and negotiations have all but collapsed. In a bizarre twist, Skipper and Janie have brought in an outside mediator, Webby Zeke, spokesman for Wacky Sugar Ducks. The feisty cartoon has already forcibly been removed three times from the proceedings for bursting into what he calls his wacky little singing song. Wait, uh, I think some... Yes, it looks like they've reached a decision, and they're coming out now. <clears throat> In order to keep the matter out of the courts, I've decided to make some important concessions. I'll allow Janie to drink cream soda at breakfast. Yeah. But Skipper will have to live somewhere else. I'm keeping him. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Excuse us, will you do your thing? Oh, you're going to let me move around. Mom? Mom, wait! <laughs> Mom? Hey, Mommy! <laughs> There was an old lady who got sucked into a jet engine. I don't know why she got sucked into the jet engine. Well, naturally, she's gonna die. Is there any requests? Old lady again? Rod Stewart. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I see her standing outside that brownstone house and there never I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Mm, yeah. Two cents, guys. Oh, my God.